Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today to watch. How are you all? I hope you're all doing okay. So in today's video, I'm gonna be planning out my weekly budget in my planner. And I have changed this up a little bit and I've introduced uh, this planner. This is an A5 ring planner, binder, folder, whatever you want to call it. I do still have my Hobonichi planner as well, but I'm going to get into all of that of reasons why I've introduced this and everything um, and that. So let's roll the intro, grab yourself your drink, your snacks and all that jazz, put your feet up and let's plan the budget for next week. <music> First of all, can I just show you just something very quickly? I made myself a little Lego cash tray. <laughs> um, yes, I just, yeah, I just thought, I really want a cash tray, but trying to be good and everything. And um, yeah, and I thought, you know what? I'll make myself a little Lego one. So that's what I did. Anyway, so, um, as I said before the intro, that I've changed up my setup a little bit differently in, in the fact of that I have introduced this A5 uh, ring planner binder folder, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've still got my Hobonichi planner, and my reasoning for introducing this and doing this is because this gets very very messy i will show you how messy it gets and and because of that it's like i can't when you want to look back over it see your progress i'm i know i'm going to struggle seeing the progress in this because it is just mess tipex and this is real life of course but when you want to look back over your progress, you just, I just, I just know I'm going to struggle to see it. So it starts off, you know, very well. This is April. It starts off very well, but I have already made some changes because where you complete, where I've completed challenges or I've done a D stash and got some extra money, I've been able to, um, you know, sort of reallocate money into that and change things about. So this is effectively like something that you, me behind the scenes messing about, um, trying to work out where things go. And then this is what you're gonna see. So I, I am of course a planner girl at heart. I feel like I'm becoming a budget girl as well, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I absolutely love this world of budgeting and cash stuff in whether you do it physical cash like me digitally i absolutely love it i've made myself some inserts uh these are no mean these are not professional at all this is just me on canva faffing around for an hour um and trying to sort my life out so i have a yearly overview now i really do wish that i laminated this so i could use this year in year out Next year, uh, when, it, when I start again, I will print this off and laminate it so I can just use it year in, year out. I didn't do a count up in January because it was all very new to me, you know, still trying to sort of discover how I want to do it, etc. So I didn't do it, but February I did do a count up. And in my binders, I actually had saved £764.89p, which is absolutely astounding um, to me that you know, that, and that would basically be two months worth, or two months worth of, of doing this method, of, I'd save that. I then have a little uh, dashboard, um, and again, and this is um, one that I created uh, and everything. And then I have my weekly budget inserts. And th this is actually set out exactly pretty much how my weeks are set let's let's go to april because it's just an absolute mess the last two months so it, it's actually set out very much like this um as you can see you know monthlies weeklies you know this section here and then i've done like a binder overview well of course we'll be doing one with you on this video today we're going to do for next week but yeah so i'm just sort of showing you um what i've kind of been up to in creating 
um, over the over the kind of the weekend really. And so then I I get paid weekly, and then I have a binder count up insert. And this is where I have like the binder, so my pink Kiki K sinking funds, uh, which is this one here. And I've listed all the categories. And then I've got my peach Timu one, which is for birthdays and holidays, which I've got here. Um, and then I have my black uh, binder, which is for saving challenges. And I've got that there. And uh, yeah, and I'd say this is where I see so totted all them up. And this is what I saved for February. So we're into March. I've got my little March dashboard there, which are little cute little duck on with its carrots ready for spring. Um, and this was last week's um, weekly budget. So uh, I had obviously my monthly bills, um, my weekly bills, and then um, I have my binder of where I'm gonna be stuffing the money and then here we just kind of have a little bit of an overview so i have my income what the bills totted up to what that totals and then if i'm putting anything extra into savings anything extra into debt and then i will basically then take um all of that off and that basically gives you the stuffing money if i look at this now I'd 100% rejig this around to make it a little bit more, when you look at it, understanding. Because you should have your weekly, your income, sorry, your bills, whatever extra you're saving, whatever extra debt you're putting in, and then the total, which will then be your stuffing total. Um, but it's just because I was sort of following my layout in here, and because I, of course, do like that and then I do this underneath. Yeah, it was just kind of like how my brain works and everyone's brain works differently when they're doing their budget um, of how they, when they looking at it and physically seeing it, uh, everyone, everyone is different when they're visually looking at it. Does that make sense? I really feel like that didn't make sense, but I felt like in my brain that did. Anyway, um, and as I say, so I've got, uh, March for me is a five week month Yes, <laughs> five, five paydays I get in, in March. So I have five lots of uh, weekly budget, my binder count up, and then we have April. Um, and then it's the same, actually I have got, uh, I've got to print off some more weekly budgets, I think. One more weekly budget I've got to print off. Um, so yes, so that is just a quick run through of where I'm kind of at, planner, um, you know, wise and where I'm kind of at when it comes to working out where I'm putting things, etc. So let's go to, uh, I'm going to take the calculator out, out the back of here so that I've got a flatter surface. Um, and let's go to week two, which is here. And let's fill this out together. Um, I do I say I will be referring to this but this is just like my neat version so this is like the final like yes this is where everything's going this is what's happening this is what I'm like stuffing into my binders and everything should be present and correct and if I'm being honest with you this is how I kind of am <laughs> in my planner um, world as well. I tend to have like a messier planner, which I just go in and really roughly drop, jot stuff down when things come in or whatever. So then when I do sit down and plan, I do refer to that and then make it all pretty and everything um, and everything. It's just how my mind works. It's, it's as I say, I oh know, I'm, I'm an odd person. <laughs> So I'll set it first. Okie dokie then. So let's go in with the date. So the date is going to be the 8th um, to the 14th, my week two, and my payday is on the 8th. So I'll just mark that down just because, especially if I'm having to plan things out a, like a week or two in advance, i.e. 
when I've got the kids at home from school for school holidays, I really do struggle to sit down and film. So it's, um, I'm kind of, you know, just being able to keep track and when I come back to actually physically stuff, I, I know exactly where I'm at. Because to be quite honest with you, after having two children, my memory and my brain is just not the same. <laughs> if you've had kids and you're like, please let me know. <laughs> your brain is the same it just it just isn't the same as when I was before children <laughs> anyway so um we'll start off with what the monthly and the weekly bills are and everything then we'll kind of move over to here so my monthly uh bills for this week so in um in here I was going to put a monthly um calendar in here but I just don't think I need to when I've got this already set out and done. I just don't need to do it again. Um, so what I how I do it is whatever I think I this I have definitely said this on here before. Um, but whatever, so the payday is here, and whatever bill monthly bills come out in that week is coming out of that payday check wage, whatever you want to call it. I've got, the first one I've got coming out is my um, Lloyd's uh, credit card. And that is uh, £10.17. So that's the direct debit. I do um, aim to, it's actually come down a bit because I've been able to, through this method, been able to pay actual physical chunks off of it, which has been fantastic. I was paying £123 a month towards my credit card. Uh, so I've got a 0% interest on purchases and that finishes in July. So, um, yeah, it worked it all out and everything. And I had to pay 123. Being able to, well, since I've been doing this method and everything, um, and I had a little bit of savings before I did start this, admittedly, but I've been able to pay off chunks of the credit card, which now I've managed to get it down to, which is amazing, £108 something. Um like 108, actually I could even tell you, I can tell you, it's 108 pounds and 51p. So, you know, that's like a real big saving each month I've been able to do just by really cutting, by doing this method and by paying off chunks. So, um, yeah, so I will be paying extra towards the, the, and this will go into debt, but let's just do, carry on with the monthlies. Then I've got Hastings which is uh, 40 pounds and 29p. And then I've got Prime, which is 8.99. Okay, so that is my monthly bills that will be coming out that week and they're therefore coming out of that paycheck wage. So then we go, <clears throat> sorry. So then we go into weekly bills. So these weekly bills is what I called food, fuel, and savings. So I do put into savings, uh, just generally, I put 15 pounds a month. I've been doing that since June, and that is to pay me, <laughs> so I I pay me <laughs> 15 pounds a week to do the ironing, because I used to pay an ironing girl to do mine, because I hate ironing that much, but I now pay myself, and I've been doing that since June, um, and everything, and yeah, and that's what's really helped to help towards paying off the credit card. So we've got food, and my contribution to food is uh, 50 pounds a week. Uh, fuel, I, I allocate 20 pounds a week, and then we've got savings of 15. So uh, with the savings as well, I do a monthly savings challenge, which is here. Um, so you'll see next week when I do next week's one that I have to I um, I add in some um, money into savings and uh, like that would go here. But I'll see show you that um, next week. But I just kind of wanted to just sort of just just be very transparent and let you know how how I do my weekly budget. But yeah, I suppose I should just show you week by week to be honest with you. Now, another thing I'm actually going to be adding into the weekly bills is Slimming World. And the reason why 
my pen's gone all funny guys it's like broken um is slimming world and the reason why i'm adding it into a weekly bill is because is exactly that i i don't it's not a saving thing i can't reclass it as a sinking fund because i'm each week i'm uh, i'm you know adding i basically put the seven pound in and it comes back out again so i'm adding that into my weekly bills as of now um so yes so that is that side done so what we'll do is we'll top this up um and let's hope my <laughs> my maths is correct let's hope so <gasps> okay yeah i'm correct that's all right i have that's what i have in my book here <laughs> that's, that's good okay so now we we've got the bills sorted out and all of that we now move over to this side so um my weekly income is 242 pounds and 44p i then in the bills i take this amount here oh 45 Okay, so that is what I take off. So I've got my income minus the bills, and that is the total of £90.99. and p So then I look at, okay, am I putting any extra into savings this week? No, I'm not. So that's a zero. Am I putting any extra into debt? Yes, I am. And I'm putting an extra £19.42p into debt. So then I will take that total. I will then, if I was, of course, having savings, I'd minus this, this, this as well. But we're just talking for this week. And I'll minus the 1942, which leaves me 71.57 to stuff. So that is my. So that's it. That is my stuffing. All like that is what I'm going to be putting into my binders. Then I then go through my binders, see what's happening, what's coming up, what's happening in my life. I will go through on here and write down what binders I'm going to be stuffing into. So uh, first of all, I have my spending, and that is uh, forty-five pounds but what i am gonna do for this week is i've got i'm gonna do, be doing um three times of rock paper scissors and then whatever i have left over out of that will go there the reason why i'm doing that this week is because i want to get rock paper scissors finished um i've only got say i've only got three more rolls left i can do that with that even if i've got 15 each time i'll lose all my money <laughs> but at least i get it finished <laughs> so um and as well i feel like i'm in a very good stead with my binders now that i've got enough in every single category so that i can take the chance of that <laughs> If I want to um so yeah so I'm going to do that um and I've got nothing I'll get that done so that's my spending so let's put um 57 back on the calculator so let's minus the 45 there and then the next thing I um uh, want to do is the dentist so that's in health and that'll be getting five pounds and then hair will be getting six pounds fifty um this week to make that fully funded um and everything and then i've got to put some money back into the bank because i into the bills account because i did borrow that to pay the deposit um but i have actually by doing that i've actually fully funded that then so then that's ready to go so let's minus the five and minus the six fifty and to be honest with you, this is why I actually really love digital cash stuffing. It's because you can literally do it to the penny. 
I am that type of person. It's like that that envelope only needs £51.50 and that's all it's getting. I am that type of person. <laughs> Um, right, okay, and then we've got fifteen pounds and seven p left. Now I have bought in, um, I have bought back a couple of older challenges that I started, and I kind of weren't putting into. And I think it's because again, this is all a bit of a learning journey for me, but I need to give uh, them the types of challenges where you just put money into so you don't play a game you know um and everything that you just put into you need i need to have them as a purpose i need a purpose for them so i've bought back my barista um savings challenge and i've given it a purpose of that it's I've said it's going into sinking funds, but I think I'm going to do it where I, to, it, I'm going to do time to roll. So I'm going to save it up and then do time to roll and then have a game with it, you know? Um, so I think that's like what I'm going to do basically. And then, um, so then that's the fifth there. And then I have seven P left, which I know I can't put into the penny challenge because I've already crossed off seven P. Um, so I'm just going to put that into my spare cash pot into there. Um, and then that takes it to that and that is zero. So that is what, um, I basically do, um, and everything. And I, I think with this, it's just really going to help me be able to look back over the weeks, the months, and just sort of see the progress, I think. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm going to see the progress here. I know. But it's just, when it's just such a mess, I do end up writing just on random bits of paper, which then it just kind of got me thinking, you know what? I have this spare planner. I have this spare A5 planner. Like... Why not use it and turn it into your proper budget planner and you have your messy one to the side and then you have your nice neat one because that's what I'm a bit OCD and all about. What I do when it comes to stuffing for the cash um, is then I will sit down and yeah and just get all my placeholders ready um, and I can work it out into the denominations that I need as well. So I do, um, in my stuffing, cash stuffing videos now, I do my weekly bills. I don't do Slimming World because it is just a factor of it goes in and comes out literally on the same day. Um, so I, I don't do, um, I don't do that, but I do the, um food fuel and savings so i do the 85 and then i then do the stuffing amount and that is what i have here bar the pennies because <laughs> because i can't do i can't do penny penny digital cash stuffing <laughs> well i can online just not on a, on a placeholder um so what we should have here is 156 we have 156 pounds to cash stuff, and that's what I should have in placeholders. So let's have a quick look, um, and then we'll round up this video. So we got 50, 70, 90, 100, and 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, and 6, 156, um, and then it's 57p, um, which, uh, yeah, of course goes um it's just you just gotta kind of just imagine <laughs> it's one of them guys um so yeah so there we go so that is how i kind of do my weekly budget in my planner on paper um so yeah and now i'm oh, let's how long has this video been i'm i'm gonna stop this video here and then i'm gonna um do my actual cash stuffing video uh, because, um, yeah, this, this has already been this, I think we're already at about half an hour. 
because I do like to ramble. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for today. I will be doing this every week, um, but it will be, it, I think I'll do it within a cash stuff in. I just kind of wanted to just to show you what I do on paper um, to plan and prep because that is what I'm all about. I do love a bit of planning and prepping, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna go and film my cash stuff in now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means the absolute world to me when you do. And I hope that you are all having a great day and a great week as always. And I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.